bombs, drugs, arson. Police use dogs to sniff out all kinds of evidence, but this is a first. I want you to meet Selma. She's going to pop up here in just a second. She's specially trained to help people and police crack child porn cases, including the one against former subway pitchman Jared Fogel. Here's News 8's Bob Wilson. <laughs> I know, I know. You don't think of her as a canine dog, but this is canine Selma. She actually is very friendly, and she is a first of a kind worldwide. Canine Selma here can sniff out electronic media, more specifically, thumb drives, hard drives, cell phones, iPads, any of those kinds of devices. Good girl. Seek. Good girl. Detective George Jupin puts canine Selma through her paces looking for electronic devices. Good girl. Three years ago, the state police canine unit, computer crimes unit, and crime lab came up with a groundbreaking way dogs could sniff out electronic devices. We have a chemist over there by the name of Dr. Jack Hubble, and he was able to look at some of these devices and come up with a chemical that we can use to train the dogs. So we put it all together and it worked very successfully and been in the field now for about three years. The canine unit took this chemical in its pure form and then trained Selma like they would a bomb, drug, or arson dog. This chemical is not harmful to her or humans. It's a specific chemical that's found on the computer uh, memory chips Good that you're going to find in devices such as thumb drives or cell phones or hard drives or tablets. The dog is in such demand they could really work her 24 hours, seven days a week. The team assists the federal government, other state police agencies around New England, as well as local police here in Connecticut. As a matter of fact, they were out till 11.30 last night working a case which ended in an arrest. Usually detectives go into the search area first and remove all electronic devices that they can find and then call in Selma. Things that may have been concealed in a vent or underneath a drawer or under multiple layers of packaging or concealed someplace that just was out of view or couldn't be reached. Just to give you an idea of how popular this program is, the state police have had requests from all over the world, including Australia, to train dogs, and they've even trained FBI dogs in sniffing the media. We're in Meriden, Bob Wilson, News 8.